Hey, how you doing everybody? You're here at the 2013 New York City Comic Con. We're on the main show floor, and I'm with Matticor Stencil Art, and the main artist, Dave. How you doing, Dave? Nice to meet you. Pretty good. Very nice to meet you, too. So I was walking by yesterday, and I saw this amazing, very, very unique art, and that's what we like to feature on CCD. I mean, the Marvel booth, the DC booth, they're going to have people all over there covering that shit. But we want to come and, and, and deal with some of the people from out of town that are bringing some new and exciting stuff. So tell us a little bit about the stuff that you do. Cool. Yeah, uh, so I paint on secondhand stuff. I, I got my start painting on old records. Um, when I was in college, uh, I had a professor that would make us buy way too many books, and I, I took that money to buy art supplies. And uh, I quickly ran out of canvases, so I started going through my albums and picking out the least favorite ones. And, and uh, that's how I got started painting on the records. And, uh, and then I just started painting on secondhand canvases uh, and then you know, kind of adding the, the frosting to the cake and, and you know, I try to take a lighthearted approach to a lot of stuff and just make it kind of fun. And, That's very cool. Now, I, you have a very, very, very uh, eclectic group of characters yeah. that you choose from. So yeah. is there any specific like way that you go about like picking what you're going to mash up or whatever the case may be? Like, how do you get your thought pattern? Uh, you know... I don't have a real job. I, I, I mean, I guess this is a real job. I pay taxes, but yeah, yeah. you know, I, I just sit around and try to make stuff that would make me smile and, and hope that other people can enjoy it too. And you know, when I see somebody walk by and, and they have a, a big grin on their face all of a sudden because of something I painted, I, I know that I'm, I'm going in the right direction. Now, I, you have a lot of Star Wars pieces. Yeah. You have, you know, a lot of you know, pop culture references. Yeah. I see Ron Swartz here, that, you know, the Beatles, all kinds of different stuff. John Goodman, oh, Big Lebowski. What, which piece do you, like, identify the most? What do you love? Which one's your favorite? Oh, man. You know, I, I kind of have... I don't know. It's, I, I, I spend a lot of time cutting stencils, so it's usually whichever one I'm, I'm working on at the time. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> so I'll give you a couple examples, though. Sure. Uh, I'm really into, like, geometric patterns. Okay. So this was one that I was really happy with because it, it, it's almost an optical illusion, yeah. you know, just with the background. And, you know, Ozzy eating Kermit's head, I, I think that's kind of funny, too. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, Can't go wrong with that. But as far as, like, landscape I'd have to say like like the Bob Ross one. I'll pull that down for you really quick. I really like Bob Ross, painting a Bob Ross. Uh, and I'd have to say that more people walk into my booth and have like a, a visceral, visceral reaction to this one because everybody's watched him paint. He's put so many people to sleep and, and you know, he's, he's just been that that calm Zen master that everybody can relate to. Uh, and, you know, he's been dead for 17 years and he's still teaching people how to paint, so. How wrong with that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, he's just a, he's just a cool dude and, and uh, it makes a lot of people smile and that makes me happy, you know? I really love this piece up here. I yeah. love the, the, the Luke on the speeder. It's just so fantastic. Yeah, There's just a cop pulling him over and stuff. It's great. Just because you're driving a land speeder doesn't mean you can go around speeding. <laughs> but it's always going to be that fat cop on a motorcycle that pulls you over, you know. So now, uh, where can where can we find your stuff online? You have a website. I do. I do have a website. Uh, it's it's long, so get your pen ready. It's uh, they're going to put it up on the screen. Okay, don't worry. that's that's good. <laughs> I'll be spelling it out for a minute with my, my 20 character long website, but it's manticorestencilart.com. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, so Facebook backslash manticorestencilart. Okay. And uh, you guys take pre-orders, you take orders online and yep. stuff like that, you ship all over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you guys are based out of Seattle. You based said, right? out of Seattle, yeah. We bought a van two weeks ago and, and cool. drove out to New York. And, made it through the mountains just got to get back home after this uh, it's very cool uh, if, if anybody is uh, interested in some very very unique art this is definitely one one to check out it's gonna be a popular booth the next couple of days here at New York Comic Con so uh, Dave it was a pleasure hey, to meet you thank you so much for coming for ccd.com ccdblog.com from the New York Comic Con showroom floor thanks for watching guys we'll get back to you next time